Okay, so we have now completely finished our gable end framing. We put the, um, the wall sheathing on the outside and we're ready to um, go ahead and brace our roof right now. Um, so what Azad has already done, if you guys can see right down here, we have a two by four running the length of the building. Um, what that's gonna do is it's going to stiffen our ceiling joist right now, or before we uh, put this in place, our ceiling joists were wobbling back and forth a little bit. Um, this keeps it right where it needs to go. It's gonna help out greatly when we start to insulate our ceiling, because um, your insulation comes in pre-cut um, rolls. So that'll fit perfectly between our ceiling joists. Um, the next thing it's gonna help doing, or help to do is to brace our roof. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put in a diagonal brace coming from our gable and framing all the way down to our two by four here. And the reason why we're doing this is if we didn't put this in, our roof actually deflects side to side just a little bit. Um, and it would be a lot greater if we had a bigger um, roof with longer rafters. But um, this really stiffens up the roof and any wind that blows on the gable ends um, won't shake this roof after this, um, this brace is in place. Uh, so we got two things going on here. One, we made a plumb cut that's gonna run right into our um, center stud of our gable end wall. And we want that brace to be sitting on the edge of that two by four. Uh, what we don't wanna do is have this guy coming in next to this, um, the side of this two by four and resting on our wall sheathing. Uh, the reason why we don't wanna do that is because over time, um, after the wind blows on your house for a few years, um, basically you're relying only on those fasteners that you use to attach and they're gonna bend back and forth. And you might see a little bulge on the outside um, on the peak of your um, siding here from that two by four rubbing on the inside of the wall. Um, so we place it right on this um, two by four here um, to give good support for the outside of the siding. The second thing that we wanna do is make sure that we have um, that two by four resting right on one of our ceiling joists. It's gonna be for the same reason. If you put it on in the middle of one of our ceiling joists, um, over time it could crack your drywall and um, that's just no good, it's the same concept. So make sure this brace is supported by your ceiling joist and your gable wall stud. Um, one other important thing to note, um, with this brace um, that comes from the length of the building, Zod had put it um, on edge. And again, a two by four is much stronger on its edge. There's not as much deflection if you put it flat. If you put it flat like this, it could um, deflect over time. If you have that brace coming down into it, um, that wouldn't be as sturdy as if you put it on edge. So he has it placed on edge. We laid that two by four out with the same layout that we used on the exterior wall. Um, and we've secured each ceiling joist into place. So we're ready now to throw this um, angle brace into place. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna nail it at the top with a 16 penny nail. I like to just come in right at an angle to tack it into place. You got that, Azad? It's a little bit of a difficult angle, but Gotta get it in there. All right, so we're tacked into place. But what we don't wanna do, we don't want to um, secure it at the bottom right off the bat. We actually wanna grab a level, and Azad, you wanna hand me that level right there? And we wanna check how straight our exterior wall is here. Um, so this is, I'm gonna brace this from going back and forth and it's also gonna keep it plumb. It's basically like a permanent brace. Um, and we've actually gotten quite lucky. Um, both ends of our building right now are perfectly plumb. Uh, maybe have to tweak just a hair if we can come back. All right, so I'll be able to pull that into place. And then Azad's gonna go ahead and get a nail started and as I pull that into place, he'll nail it and it'll stay um, right there where we need it. So, you wanna get a nail started? Ready? All right, so, 
Good. Yep, right there. All right, and now we're um, perfectly plumb on this wall. And if we've laid everything out perfectly and got everything straight, as we plumb this wall, it'll also bring that wall into plumb. Um, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and nail this off. I'm gonna get two toenails going in here as that'll get one or two more nails in that board down there. And we're gonna do the same exact thing with another brace on the other gable end wall. Once we get those in place, we'll be ready to start the fascia.